Welcome to Candid Travels, Texas. All right. Guys of Texas are upon you all the live long day. Oh, well, anyway, I'm wearing this in here, even though I don't need to. I just wanted to show you guys, show you all my uh, new sport mask. It's pretty good. How is it a sport mask? It's got a place for my big nose over here. And the inside has a P. M2 filter on the inside. I'll show you this. Now, this has nothing to do with pandemic or whatever, epidemic. It's nice to um, wear this when you're running in the city because if you're in any big city, there's always pollution. Now, when I used to work as a, um, a landscaper, one of my many jobs included Dimitri's Landscaping where I was vice president because Chip Dimitri owned this stuff. <laughs> so I was vice president. Anyway, um, we would always wear masks, uh, either bandanas or if we could get a, our hands on a sport mask. So this type of thing is designed for when you're running. Uh, it's a little easier. There's there's breathing air and it's very inexpensive. Um, <clears throat> and we were more productive, you know, because there's soot in the air. There's, you know, we're either sawing or, you know, weed whacking or... <laughs> You know, that kind of thing. You know, we got lawn mowers going and, and stuff spraying everywhere. So that's a really good uh, tip there for the ATX iTech family. Okay, last week we had the warrior mana flow tactic or the bioenergy flow tactic or ki or prana flow tactic in that the flow inside, let's say my arm, is actually primary and more important than just the proper structure. However, to get to that chi or that key, you need proper structure, okay? Pro now, today's tactic is called, what I call, the accidental tourist tactic. Now, I have no idea. Uh, I don't know if I'm even old enough to really know about the movie The Accidental Tur Tourist, but I have no idea what the movie Accidental Tourist is about. But if you don't know what it's about, feel free to email me. Um, by the way, those of you who have been commenting in my comment section on our channel, uh, just know that they have been deleted sometimes by YouTube, so we may or may not have gotten it. Sometimes I will get a comment in my in the old days <laughs> in, my, in in the Gmail account which is associated with this account but then it won't show up on underneath so uh, the best is to contact me by emailing me directly at drliu a l o h a l i u at gmail.com okay so anyway the accidental tourist movie i have no idea what it's about but i do know that uh, from the title it's a tourist that had accidents. So the accidental tourist tactic, which is what I call an ATX ITAC, is the fact that everything in life is 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 an accident. <laughs> so whatever that happens, your every moment of your life is an accident. And that includes times of war or times of perceived peace. Now here's the interesting thing as a warrior, you're gonna understand that there's never peace. As long as you're alive, this world is always going to have conflict of some kind. The key is not about eliminating it. Okay, I know some people say, oh, I'm a, I'm a peace officer. I'm a warrior of peace. Yes, you have peace within you. But there's no way we can get total peace outside of us. And that is just a reality of being a warrior, right? W-A-R-R-I-O-R. -R -R. So... The accidental tourist, it goes back to the understanding that everything is an accident. Or, look at it this way, nothing's an accident. Okay, so you've got um, Dan Millman's book, The Peaceful Warrior. Any of them read it? It's a fantastic read. I, I love the book. The movie with Nick Nolte playing Socrates is fantastic. Uh, in my opinion, it's not a, a very, it's a very, I met the director and the writer uh, of the movie uh, at the premiere. And it's a very good rendition of the book. It's not exactly like the book, but it comes kind of close to the spirit of it. But somebody like uh, Dan Millman will write uh, Socrates saying such as, 
there are no accidents. Okay, I'm not doing Nick Nolte very well. I'm not trying to. But there are no accidents. Now, on the other hand, the ATX ITAC principle is exactly the same. Everything's an accident. We can't plan what's going to happen to the minutest detail. We can do our best, but it never, ever comes out exactly the way we plan. And even when it seems like it did, it won't last. <laughs> and underneath all the mechanisms that go on within the people, within yourself, or within other people, doing this will definitely not be as you imagined exactly. So, being prepared and enjoying accidents, benefiting from accidents, okay? The uh, warrior class, Nichiren Buddhist samurai priest, I believe he's a samurai. Shaved his head, yeah. Nichiren Daishonin uh, is quoted many, many times as talking about and he's the guy who came up with Nam Myo Renge Go that Tina Turner chanted her way out of uh, domestic abuse. <laughs> Has been quoted often as saying, make poison into medicine. And so it's a similar principle in that, but you look at it from a real world modern day perspective, everything's an accident. We may have our intentions and nobody if you're honest, will ever get everything that they intend. Okay? Doesn't mean to stop intending. Enjoy your accidents. And remember, this is why, while structure is very important, you have to have life within you. And so with accidents, you're going to have to pivot. You're going to have to do things in an awkward position maybe and something that you're not used to practicing, uh, something not used to your culture, something not used to your native language or, or, or whatever, native food that you eat, you know? So you, it's, it's a matter of enjoying it and this is something I need to hear myself and this is why this is going in here. And those people, I don't care who it is or what group of people who think they can plan and intend and control things to their desires and their intention it's not going to happen and I, I don't mean to be a negative person in fact I'm being a neutral person I'm being an honest person it's not going to happen exactly the way you want it also there's something as known as universal ethics there is a, a a law of balance if you will right so balance and here I have in my pocket I believe something called agite Hey, how do you say this, Allison? What is this called? This is a rock. It is called... Uh, from Brazil. Brazil. Portuguese. Portuguese. Portuguese colony, just like Formosa, where I was born and spent the first primarily seven years of my life. Dutch Formosa, which was found by the Portuguese, Portuguese originally. This is Brazilian agate. Agate? Agate. agate? Okay. This particular man, uh, yeah, it's um, uh, Master Allison, she's piloting very well. This is uh, uh, a mineral from the earth that represents and has an, a balancing, a balancing type of a uh, quality, right? Makes a great frisbee, or you could just carry it with you for a coaster, all kinds of things. Mm. If you hold it with your internal power, you can. Yeah, yeah, you can you know, even use it as a weapon, not that you would need to do weapon. Anyway, balance. So I'm not giving you a positive or a negative uh, take on this, but a truthful one, okay? Truthful one. And so everything is an accident, or as Socrates, the character that Dan Millman writes about in uh, The Peaceful Warrior, there are no accidents. It's all an accident. Now, from the ATX ITAC perspective, everything's an accident. And you can mine it. M-I-N-E. You can extract it. You can make the next choice of what you're going to do. And use that mana, if you will, or chi. Mana. Chi. 
okay, to make the best of it and know when to go and when to stay and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so everything's an accident. What the heck do we know anyway, right? If we adhere to that, the way or uh, God, the Holy Spirit as a Christian, the spirit of the law rather than the letter of the law. So the letter of the law makes you appreciate the spirit of the law. So when you're a beginner in all, especially what we're doing here is tactical, internal tactical arts, the collective, right? All terrain. We understand that we begin with structure or the letter of the law. And then we will appreciate the spirit of the law or the energy behind it. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> we're driving south from central Texas. Look at these cloudy clouds. Oh yeah, I have no Texas idea what we're flag doing. mask for those of you who are not certain what this is. Okay. <laughs> and then here's a little pocket here. And that's a PM 2.5 filter. And it slides into this little envelope. You see there's an envelope here. Envelope. That was the agate, a balance. It slides in there and I put it on. Alright. As you can see, the uh grass is slowly a little less green. We're at the, uh, the end of August. Near the end of August right now. But it's still it's 89 degrees outside. It was up close to almost 100 today, but it only for a short period of time. And now it is 89 degrees outside here in central Texas. We're headed south. Where are we? Whoa. Ah, accident. Accidental tourist traffic. I have no idea that we were gonna be here. But I make the best of it. Look at this guy. Look at this white fish right here. We're in Sugar Land, Texas, by the way. Oh. Actress from Scratch Kitchen Cheddar. I saw the uh, a Taiwanese cookie box right beforehand. I took a photo of that. Hello. Oh, he sees my camera lens. Okay. Holy much. Hello. <laughs> yeah, this guy's coming to me. This guy's coming to me right here. You guys. <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right, guys. Gather around the camera lens. That's right. Ooh, look, they're all, they're all around me. They're all around me. Yeah. Accidental tourist tactic at Cheddar's Scratch Kitchen.
Cheddars, scratch, kitchen, a lot, get a lot, for not a lot, <laughs> wow, shareables, salads, yeah, guess what, all right, we're in Sugar Land, Texas, right, okay, so there's nobody around me, as you can see, so I'm not wearing my mask. Otherwise, I'd be wearing a sports mask. Check this out. What's behind me? It's a payphone. <laughs> Look at this. This is 2020. All right. So here's this payphone. It's just standing here. Okay. Check out how tall it is. Okay. I'm six foot one. I'm six one. And the payphone is this tall. It looks like it's designed for little children, like a little child to like come up and play on it. Let's see if I push the button will I hear anything. Hold on. Uh, push. No, 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 no tone. Completely doesn't work. Now that's an accidental tourist tactic. I had no idea we would see that today. All right, we're in South Texas, Sugar Land, Texas. Oh, another accidental tourist thing. We are taking our truck into the HEB uh, wash. Yeehaw! This is a new one that actually has brushes. Yeah. Ooh, ew, ew. Whoa. All right. Yeah, stop. Oh, oh. It's better than any ride at a theme park. This is so great. Okay, there's the suds here. Side ones are coming. Oh no, here they come, here they come. Wow, wow. Look at this, car wash. Okay guys, accidental tourists. Never guessed that Allison would have, Master Allison, Master Allison would do this without me saying anything. That's All right, we are in Katy, Texas, at the Bucky's. And this is one of the Bucky's where there is a statue of Bucky's. Hi. He has, he has a, how tall is Bucky? Pretty big, huh? I'm about six foot one, and his head is really big. All right. Thanks for joining us for the accidental. There's his tail, beaver. Accidental tourist tactic. Everything's an accident. Aloha. So, um, once again, we have the online Bertharian course. Contact us at D-R-L-O-U, A-L-O-H-A-L-L-U, at, at uh, gmail.com. Imagine not needing to eat food. All right.